Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. So we got some good news. The Washington football team and left tackle Charles Leno have agreed to a three-year $37.5 million extension. We shirt up our left tackle position, got Charles Leno an extension. Next up, Terry McLaurin. So let's get that done hopefully this offseason. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. Hit that like button and turn on those notifications. It really, really helps out the channel a ton. And let's get into the video. I made a video earlier today about them possibly getting a deal done, and they did it already, so that is great news. I'll read the full tweet here again by Mer uh, Mike Garofolo. The Washington football team and left tackle Charles Leno have agreed to a three-year $37.5 million extension, sources tell me and Ian Rapport. Released by the Bears in May, Leno found a new home, played well, and now cashes in for the second time in his career. So that's a great move by the Washington football team. Charles Leno has been playing pretty good football for us this entire year. I think it goes out to about like $12.5 million per year. And with the cap continuing to go up and up, that's actually a pretty good deal. And you know, you get him for three years. He's, he's 30 years old right now. So he'll be playing into, you know, uh, until he's like 33 with Washington, so that's pretty good. It'll give you time to develop a tackle behind him. You know, you don't have to go get one this year, but maybe, I talked about this in my video earlier, maybe you draft a tackle in the third, fourth, fifth round to develop behind Charles Leno and Sam Cosme, so when the, when the time comes, you're able to have that guy as a depth piece or to you know, start over Charles Leno once his time in D.C. is up. But we don't have to worry about that for three more years. Charles Leno this year has been pretty solid for us. You know, the first game, you know, allowed that sack to Ryan Fitzpatrick, or, you know, that got Ryan Fitzpatrick hurt. But besides that, he's been pretty good, allowing, you know, a few sacks this year. But, you know, you look at his PFF grade, um, it's cl pretty much an 80 overall and you know anything in the 70s high 60s is pretty good um, he's one of the top five top 10 tackles overall in PFF grade again you got to take that with the grain of salt but still over a thousand snaps uh, played six sacks allowed which isn't amazing but uh, one penalty the whole year that is great that is amazing having only one penalty um, overall our offensive line has done a good job of not having too many penalties but only one penalty penalty by an offensive lineman who's played every single snap this year basically is very impressive and six snaps actually if you think about it in all the snaps he's played this year over a thousand snaps only allowing six sacks that's pretty good so huge you know props to Charles Leno one thing you have to look at he hasn't missed a game since his rookie season in 2014 112 consecutive games played that is a great stat right there. That is what you want. You know, we had someone like that in Morgan Moses, but the thing with Morgan Moses was, yes, he played every single game, but he was playing hurt in a lot of those games and he, he you know, you know, he didn't really play that well when he was hurt. When he was healthy, Morgan Moses was a beast, but there was a lot of times where he was playing hurt and you could see his level of play was going down. Charles Leno really this year wasn't too banged up from what, you know, I could see. He had a couple of minor injuries, but most of the time he wasn't listed on the injury report. Someone like Morgan Moses almost every single week and props to him for fighting through it, but he definitely wasn't himself a lot of the times out there when he was hurt. So Charles Leno, that's another fact right there. He really isn't injury prone, has played 112 games straight if you include the playoffs. So um, that's really good uh, for Washington to, you know, lock down that left side of the line. And I'm really happy with the, how the offensive line looks. You got Charles Leno left tackle. You have Eric Flowers at left guard, Chase Roulier at center. And then at right tackle, we have Sam Cosby. Right guard is still up in the air. Will they bring back Sheriff? I don't think so. And I don't think they should, but maybe they do. Um, but if you don't bring him back, you will have, you know, Wes Schweitzer, maybe, you know, Sadiq Charles competing there, which is, you know, a solid goop. Wes Schweitzer is an average to above average starter in this league. He's, he didn't start for us this year because we got, you know, really good starting guards ahead of him. And then, you know, Sadiq Charles is a solid backup who, you know, um, could develop into a starter eventually. And he's a good guy to, you know, have on your bench because he can play pretty much every single position on the offensive line besides center. So um, that is something that, 
Um, you know, I'm really happy with how our offensive line is looking. Again, in the draft, you could go ahead, get a tackle or guard. You know, offensive line depth is always needed. So that is something that they can do, um, especially at that guard position. But I'm liking how this offensive line is looking one of the best units on this team. Um, and yeah, that's great that they got this deal done. You'll look at, you know, this tweet um, right here by Shrian. You know, the tackles that will protect our future franchise quarterback if we do end up getting one is Charles Leno and Sam Cosme. So you don't have to worry about switching over, uh, you know, Sam Cosme to the left side. I think he could do it, but he's fine at right tackle. Played pretty well for us. So I'm, um, again, I love this move, and you know, there's a few other guys. I really hope we can get a Terry McLaurin extension done soon. I don't care what he wants, pay it. He probably what he really wants is a franchise quarterback, and it would be smart for him, you know, not, you know, to wait until he does, you know, we get one. But that might be a while. But you know, if they can do it, I would really love to get a Terry McLaurin extension done this season or this off season that would be one of the things on the bucket list number one is getting a franchise quarterback but number two is probably re-signing terry mclaurin because we need to lock him down because he's the best player on our offense arguably the best player on our team him, him and jonathan allen right now but yeah let's let's get a deal we got the deal done with charles leno there's a few other guys Jaden mckissick deandre carter um, Cole Holcomb is, you know, and you know, entering his fourth year next year, so you can get an extension done with him. I don't think it would be too expensive, but I think you know, locking down someone like Cole Holcomb would be a pretty good deal. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about the Charles Leno move. Again, I don't think the money is an issue. Twelve and a half million per year. It's a good deal for him, and I think eventually it will be a solid deal for us. You're gonna see, you know, deals go up a ton this off season. And in every offseason after that. So eventually, 12 and a half million is probably going to be about the average salary for a starting guard, maybe even less. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button, turn on those notifications, and stay tuned for a few videos in the next couple of days. Peace.